Welcome to another tutorial video regarding AB products processing and storage. This time, I will show you how to solve for the porosity of a long size patty, and the percentage increase in the porosity. I will be solving this problem to show you how it is done. What is the porosity of a long size patty having a moisture content of 30% wet basis? If the patty will be dried to 10% wet basis, what is the percentage increase in the porosity of the sample? But before that, don't forget to like, subscribe and click the notification bell. To continue, I would like to give a basic overview about porosity. Porosity has an important role in the drying and storage of the product. It indicates the relationship between the volumes of the product. The porosity depends on the shape, dimension and roughness of the product surface. Going back to our problem, let us first identify our given. We have the initial moisture content in wet basis of 30%. The final moisture content to be 10%. Note that in solving porosity, we always use the wet base moisture content for our sample. Now, if the problem states a dry base moisture content, simply convert it to wet base moisture content. I have a video showing the conversion of dry base to wet base moisture content. Simply visit my channel to know more about it. The required in the problem are the porosity and the percentage increase if the sample is dried to 10%. After identifying the given and the required for our problem, we proceed with our solution. The first value we will solve is the porosity at 30% moisture content wet base. Take note that 30% is our initial moisture content. To solve for the porosity for a long size patty, we will be using the formula, P1 is equal to 65.55 minus 0.475 times MC, where P1 is the porosity for a long sized patty and MC is the moisture content in wet basis. Take note that there is another formula used if the problem states a medium-sized patty. I have another video solving the porosity for a medium-sized patty. Simply visit my channel to watch more about it. Now, using the formula, we substitute values. Giving us, porosity is equal to 65.55 minus 0.475 times the moisture content of 0.30 we simply solve giving us an answer for our porosity of 65.4075%. The next value that we are going to solve is the percentage increase of the porosity of the sample, which is the long size patty. To solve for percentage increase, we will use the formula, percentage increase is equal to porosity of the final moisture content minus the porosity of the initial moisture content, multiplied to 100 all over the porosity of the initial moisture content. Our porosity for the initial moisture content of 30% was already computed so we have to solve for the porosity of the final moisture content at 10%. We will use the same to solve for the final porosity. We substitute values and we have, P1 is equal to 65.55 minus 0.475 times the final moisture content of 0.10. We simply solve and we have the porosity for the final moisture content of 10% to be 65.5025%. After solving these values, we go back to our formula for the percentage increase. Substituting the values, we have Percentage increase is equal to porosity of the final moisture content of 65.5025%, minus the porosity of the initial moisture content of 65.4075%, multiplied to 100 all over the porosity of the initial moisture content of 65.4075%. We simply solve and we have percentage increase is equal to 0 0.09. 5% times 1.5289. We simply multiply giving us the final value for our percentage increase to be 0.15%. That is now the solution to our problem. Don't forget to like, subscribe and click the notification bell before you exit.